This is Brian, and welcome back to this commentary playthrough of Chrono Trigger for the SNES. Last time we got back to 65 million BC here. We did a little bit of hunting around for some trade items. Talked to the villagers, and now we need to talk to the chief. I guess that would be Ayla. Good, Chrono come. Night soon and ready for party. Come, Chrono. Now we're at the meeting place. Listen all, new friends here. Strong man, Chrono. Friends of Chrono, Marley, Luca. Unga. Now we dance. All right, so we got a prehistoric party. They're twisting my arm. Yeah, he's gonna pig out and eat and drink too much, it sounds like. Come on, Chrono, Chrono let's party. Chrono, eat, sing, dance. Ooga bunga mungle meeple. Dance with wind people. Ooga bunga munga meeple. Dance with mountain people. Ooga bunga munga might. Sing and dance all night. Yeah, I think there's two of them for every saying here. Good music. We passed down to many generations. I guess so. I mean, they were playing this at the Millennial Fair. They certainly passed it down. Who's this guy? You know, huh? You outsiders! Let Ayla give party! Why? Somebody's jealous. She's taken her, or that she's given us attention. Chrono, you try? Special Jurassic pork soup. Good stuff. Ayla fight reptites. Their leader, Azala. Very smart. All in Ioka village fight. No fight? Go to Laruba village. Don't know where village is. Always hide. Azala want to destroy Ioka and Laruba. Ayla no lose. Only when Ayla dead give up. Enough. Eat Chrono today. Good day. Eat, party, sing, dance. Let's go talk to our girls here again. This is fantastic. I want to dance too. Yeah, so she starts jumping around and dancing. Luca is still pegging out, it looks like. Yum! Chrono, you've got to try some poi. Spoon it up. Are you a man or a mouse? Do it in one gulp. That's a big bowl to take in one gulp. <laughs> yeah, ha <laughs> ha. Burp. Chrono, you look for red rock? Rare red rock sign of power. Ayla's strongest in Ioka village, so Ayla's rock. You want? You challenge Ayla? You win, then as a, and then Ayla give to you. Challenge Ayla? Yes. Bring plenty soup. Party now, so eat. Chrono and Ayla have soup race. So we gotta have an eating contest against Ayla? We start now. Press A button much times. Enough, Chrono. You win. I give you rock. Chrono, eat plenty. Eat last bowl for help. Okay, eat. Maybe eat too much. Yeah, don't really like button mashing stuff, but I'm good enough at it at least to do something like that. Ooh. What? Liar. I was a perfect lady last night. But why does my tummy hurt so? 
Morning, Chrono. Wasn't that fun last night? Yeah, we just slept out here in the open, I guess. Passed out. Hey, who made these fuss those Who made these footprints? It's gone. The gate key's been taken. These prints were left by the thief. Without it, we're stuck here forever. This isn't funny. Let's go see Ayla. Nort. Yeah, she's sl still sleeping. Huh? Bruno, you up already? Yawn. Too much soup. Sleep, sleep like stone. Burp. Sorry to wake you, but we've been robbed. But what? Must be reptites. Chrono, come with Ayla. We settle with reptites. Who else come? Um. I'm actually gonna bring Robo in, I think. Since he's been out for a little while. So we can catch him up on tech points a little bit. Someone from Village C. We go ask. Chrono, come. Alright, so we got Ayla in the party now. He has a kiss ability, which it restores HP and it your statuses, so that's kind of nice. The next one, she'll, or she'll get that after 10 um, skill points. And she doesn't have an, a weapon to equip, she just has her fist. Um, eventually, after she gets to a high enough level, it will change to like a bronze fist, I believe, or something. But you have to get to pretty high levels for her fist to change. I think it changes once at like level 70 or something, and maybe again at level 99. Or maybe you have to get to 99 for it to change at all. I don't remember exactly. And she has a rock helm and a ruby vest, and she's got a power scarf on. That's okay for now, we'll just leave all that on her. And I think now that we've talked to her and we got her, we can talk to this guy. This trading house, many things for trade. Want to know items? Yes. Petal and fang equal ruby gun. Petal and horn equal sage bow. Petal and feather equal stone arm. Fang and horn... Flint Edge, Fang and Feather is Ruby Vest, Horn and Feather is Rock Helm, for trade. I tell you something good, Ruby Vest strong against fire, not too hot when wear. Alright. Well, come. What you have? Fang, Petal, Horn, Feather. Bring three each of any two items. I give you one weapon or one item. What you give me? Alright, let's just go in order here. Petal and Fang. The Ruby Gun. Still want trade? Yes. Petal and Horn. For the Sage Bow. Petal and Feather for a stone arm. And I don't have enough petals for anything else, but that's all the petal items anyway. So Fang and Horn for a Flint Edge. Fang and Feather. Best. We can get a rock helm, we can get two of those. Alright, let's go ahead and equip all that stuff. So, yeah, the flint edge is 
Takes our attack up six. Rock Helms, two, bo two more on defense. And six more defense, and it cuts fire by 50% for the Ruby Vest, so that is pretty nice. And she's both, she's already got all that stuff, so nothing to equip on her. Plus five attack for the stone arm. So I'm going to want to get three more ruby vests and two more rock helms. Yeah, that's a pretty good boost. She gets 10 plus 10 for her attack with the ruby gun. And plus 10 for attack with the sage bow. So those are pretty nice. Alright, I'm just going to take a few minutes and go back to the hunting range here. Try to quickly get through all these battles. This is actually a much stronger physical attack party now, so to be able to get through these battles pretty quickly. And plus we got upgraded equipment now. Max Cyclone Dual Tech. And yeah, also fighting these battles I should get um, at least that kiss technique for Ayla. Yeah, Ayla's actually pretty strong, so he's a pretty good party member to have. Probably just gonna fight all of these battles in here once. Hopefully that'll be enough to get me what I want. And if we can find that new guy, I'll go ahead and try to take him on too. Am I gonna get lucky and find him over here? Yep, here he is. Let's try that Max Cyclone. I don't know if it didn't want to do the max cyclone because Robo was down to 1 HP or what was going on there. I don't really want to mess with it too much in this fight because this is actually a fight where I could get wiped out if I'm careless. Let's just go ahead and try to attack quickly and finish him off. There we go. Yeah, he doesn't give you that third eye thing again, but he'll still give you three of each. And she learns Rolo Kick. And she only needs six more to get that, so... Yeah, at least her first techniques here to get her caught up, she learns them pretty quickly. Yeah, I thought there was a frog guy here.
I think this is probably the last battle we have in here, so then I'll go ahead and move on. This is probably the most time I'm going to spend basically just, not exactly grinding, but I guess grinding for items until maybe towards the end of the game. That is, I mean, I'll always attack the enemies along my way, so I guess you can kind of consider that grinding. Alright. Bang and feather. have enough to get everything I needed here. Well, or want the need, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, it's a little more tedious than going into a regular shop. All right. Alright, she's going to lose the speed here, but I will go ahead and upgrade her this time because that is quite a bit better defense. And we need to talk to the villagers, I think is what we had said to figure out where we need to go. He saw reptates. Came from meeting site. Went south the forest maze. Okay, guess that's good enough. I'm gonna talk to this lady here yet. And heal up. And let's save it before we go in there. And it's a new chapter title now. Footsteps. Follow. That's what we're doing. Where's Kino? Kino, what you do? Hey, now! Ayla, Kino take Chrono stuff. Why take? Kino like Ayla best. Ayla like Chrono. Kino not like. <laughs> Smacks him. And Robo says, Miss Ayla. Please do not promote violence. <laughs> Kino, know why I punish? Ayla no like Kino? No. Ayla like Kino best. No more do bad stuff, okay? That wrong. Ayla. Sorry, Ayla. Sorry, Chrono. Give back stuff to Chrono. No have. Reptites take. Reptites? where they go? Run into trees there. Ayla go too. Eno go back village. Eno protect village when Ayla not there. Okay, Ayla. Eno is man, so if Ayla die, Kino chief then. Ayla, you are gentle at heart. Face reptites. Get back chrono stuff. Yeah, she's just, you know, sometimes I guess they, they think people just need a knock in the head when they're doing stupid stuff, huh? <laughs> Wouldn't recommend that. Got a mid-tonic there. These treasure chests can kind of blend in with the background, so you got to keep an eye out. 
Here we got a couple new enemies. Gold Eaglet. Fought the blue ones before, so it's an upgraded version of that. And he turns red after you hit him enough. I don't know if that signifies they pissed off or... And I don't know if they do that fire attack before they turn red or if it's just a matter of they only do it after they're red. Either way, they shouldn't be too much of a problem, I don't think. There we go. Got to revive. Pressure over there, but we can't get to it yet. That was one of those kill Walla guys. A couple of them. Oh, there's a third one. And if you came into this forest maze before this um, happened here, that path to the side there wouldn't have been open. Learned Robo, Robo Kick and Robo Tackle. A couple of dual attacks. That was a good battle for that. Next she'll learn Cat Attack. Robo is going to get Heal Beam, which restores all allies HP some. So that's a good one, but it's about 400 skill points away. And yeah, we're still 340 away from Lightning 2 for Chrono. Down here to get this treasure for a mid tonic. And there's one up here. Mid ether. And we're kind of following the footsteps here through. There's a new enemy. It's like an ape with wings. It, it is a winged ape. Okay. Put a lot of thought into that name, huh? Got quite a bit of HP, but we took him out. Yeah, and you can kind of wind your way through these paths. Come over here to get this treasure. Revive, and then you can go down here. Treasure down here. Shelter. Um, yeah, you can't actually go left here. So you, oh. Uh, but I guess if you walk into the right spot here, you trigger this battle. A couple of kill wallows and a winged ape. Yeah, and our HP is actually getting pretty high now. We're all in the 300s here, for this group at least. I think the maximum in this game is 999, so... It's getting there. Go down around here. 
what else was to the left up here. Uh, looks like there wasn't anything else up here. Except this fight with a couple runners. Yeah, this area isn't terribly tough to get through, but there are kind of a few, I mean, different areas and paths to go on. So if you want to check it all out, you got to kind of poke around a little bit. All right. This is the only way to go here, except here it branches again. All the way to the left here is a treasure. Another wing Dave. Be on his own. Nope. Throws Chrono at Ayla. That didn't damage Chrono, but it did add, it did damage Ayla. I would have thought it hurt both of them. Level up for Ayla. And there's another treasure here. Um, you can climb down that vine there, but we're actually going to backtrack and check out the other um, route at this fork here. So it's actually going to come around to the same area here. Wasn't any more treasure along the way, so we didn't miss anything. Um, if you stick to the right over here, you can come down and get this treasure, a mid ether. It's a pretty easy one to miss. And yeah, here was that vine we could have climbed down, so. And we're out of the forest maze. And there we have a cave here. Got the Reptite Lair. Want to use any of this stuff? You can see I'm getting a pretty good... Yeah, the Hero Metal is an accessory, and um, if you equip that to the character using the Mazamoon, it increases his... Um, rate of critical hits, so that'll go on frog eventually, I suppose, huh? And I will have some more text to try out here. Alright, we're still on Footsteps Follow. See, we're a little over seven hours into the game, so we're making pretty good progress here. Not sure if I want to head in here. I think I'm going to go ahead and stop there for today. And we're going to go ahead and call it good for, um, for today. Instead of heading on, we'll just go ahead and take on the Reptite Lair next time. But uh, remember, if you have been enjoying the content, please like, comment, and subscribe or follow. And we'll catch you next time.